if you have relaxed hair, you cannot get sister locks. You cannot get micro locks. Welcome to the Lazy Unlocked channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, as usual, thank you for your subscription and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, two really quick things. I wanted to talk to you all about if you have relaxed hair that you cannot get uh, sister locks and micro locks on relaxed hair. Um, that's one. And then secondly, I wanted to talk to you all about my new IG page that I made specifically for you all here on this channel who are subscribers i wanted to let you all know about it because i made it for you so let's get straight into it if you have relaxed hair you cannot get sister locks you cannot get micro locks you can't get ray locks um i'm here to tell you that that is complete bs okay i've been seeing it around on the you know internet i have people that i know who want to get micro locks sister locks but they have relaxer and all they've been hearing is they can't get it they can't get it they can't get it and i'm here to say that again that is complete bs all right and i'm saying that because i actually started off my sister locks with relaxed hair i had a relaxer in my hair the shortest part of my hair was 13 inches. The longest part of my hair was 15 inches. And I went to two consultants prior to the one that I chose to establish my locks. And they actually was very condescending about starting my locks because I had relaxer. Uh, one of them wanted to cut my hair to the three inches that I had. I only had three inches of new growth. And she actually wanted me to cut all my hair off to three inches and start off with three inches. And I said, absolutely not, okay? The other loctician, she said, okay, well, we could give you, or you know, just let's just start off at the chin length. You won't miss it. Just cut off your hair to the chin length and it'll be fine. You'll have a better lock journey if you do it that way. Now I could respect her professional perspective because she was trained and you know, she was a Stilox ambassador. So I know she had got really good training and she only wanted to, I guess, sell the best product for me. But I was feeling very defeated. Like I have to grow my hair out before I could even get locks. And then I met Makita, which is the loctician who established me. She was amazing. And she was like, you don't have to cut your hair. We're gonna work with it. And I told her exactly what I wanted. And she went all the way as far down as she could. My hair was actually pretty damaged too. But she did her thing and she made it happen. So the key to actually starting your micro locks journey on relaxed hair is to couple up with a really good consultant. Someone who is compassionate, somebody who is not booked and busy, who don't have three and four people booked right behind you, someone who has time, maybe someone who isn't just constantly doing reties and establishments. You wanna get with somebody who is gonna be patient with you. Those consultants do exist, okay? Even though I have taken over my own reties, I do my own reties, I will never take away from the profession of a consultant. They are there to be your comfort in your lock journey. And your job as a person who's looking to get sister locks, micro locks, is to really do your research and find somebody who is going to cater to what you want because the way you start your locks is very important and don't let anybody tell you that you cannot start micro locks on relaxed hair. Now, if you have bone straight permed hair, then maybe it may be a little bit of a technicality, but there's ways around that as well, I believe. I'm not gonna go into that here, but y'all know me. I love crazy glowing this channel. So if you put two and two together, you could kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to say. Not to put crazy glow on, but I'll probably go into that in another video another day. But anyway, I just wanted to let you all know that this started on relaxed hair. Also, Miss Violet Wonder 7. She is a beautiful subscriber here on my channel. She has a channel of her own. She actually started her locks, her sister locks, on relaxed hair as well so if you was to ever go to her channel you'll see that her hair was started with relaxer and if you see her hair now you'll be like what it's beautiful and it's so many more of you that probably started your locks on 
relaxed hair and if you have please comment down below to give inspiration to those who are looking to get locks but they're kind of nervous or they're on the fence because they have a relaxer in their hair okay so that's a segue to my instagram page now when i made this channel i came to this channel already like four years in Four years in, I got on the platform. Y'all already saw me with like a lion's mane full of sister locks. Um, that wasn't the case. That's not where this started, obviously. The channel started there, but my lock journey started, what was that? Maybe two or three years prior. So a lot of you have been asking me, do I have an IG page that I be on, do I post and stuff like that? And I was like, you know what, I have way too much footage to just have it be sitting on my camera roll. Let me just make an IG page and make it an IG page dedicated to my entire log journey. So on that page, if you go and follow me, you can expect a pretty much throwback every day. Yeah, so my camera died out on me, but just to sum it up, on that page, you can expect like I was saying, a throwback every day. Um, I'm gonna be posting a lot of old footage of me when my locks was in the starter lock phase and a sprinkle here and there of current pictures and videos and stuff like that. But you're gonna get a gist of what my locks looked like before this YouTube channel, before I made this channel, because obviously, like I said, it didn't start here. It started from the beginning with that relaxed hair. So I'm going to show you all that, expect those type of posts over there and just fyi the footage may not be the clearest because obviously the technology was a little bit different six years ago either way is a collage of my entire lock experience so my ig handle which will be down in the description box as well is lazy and lock spelled l-a-z-y three l-o-c-d again that's l-a-z-y three l-o-c-d go ahead, follow me over there. And um, another heads up, I don't know if I'm going to keep that page public or if I'm gonna keep it private. I'm trying to figure out how I even want to curate that page over there. But if it is private, just send me a request. I'll accept it either way. And I'm thinking that sometimes I may keep the page public. Sometimes I may keep the page private. Depending on what I post, again, I'm still messing around with those metrics. I know IG could be very convoluted and I don't need any more complication in my life. So if you want to see what my locks looked like from the beginning and just have, you know, a little bit of random footage of me outside of the YouTube platform, that's where you can follow me at. Either way, y'all, thank you all so much for watching and um, I hope you enjoy what I post over there. And until the next video, stay safe, be well, and I'll see y'all all in the next one. Bye-bye.